hello. So you know what? I was thinking that um, what I was going to talk about today would be a topic for just little kids, but I don't think so because what we're going to talk about is uh, the subject of lovies. And I figure if I still have some lovies, then you could be pretty big and still have a lovey yourself. So let me show you mine. I have a couple. This one is one that my daughter Katie made me and he's really soft. And of course, if it's a true lovey, then it's one that you like to hug. And this is one that my other daughter made me. Ashley made me this one. And this is made out of one of my dad's sweaters. And so that's a really good one to hug when I'm going to sleep at night. And then of course, there are all kinds of things that can be loveys. For example, Samantha, my granddaughter, this is her lovey. Samantha's a pretty big girl now, but she still keeps this lovey in her room. This is girl puppy. And um, we have this kind of lovey. You may have had this kind of lovey. This is really soft too, a blanket with an animal on it. They make great loveys. And Gracie has a lovey. This is Gracie's. She's kind of chewing on her lovey. Hopefully you don't chew on your lovey. We'll put this one down here. And um, this little girl here is holding on to her lovey. She has a blanket and a bear. And this is Linus from Peanuts. And Linus's lovey is his blanket. And he's wearing his um, lovey or his blanket on his head. And this, this is the Christmas special. This is a little, little tiny lovey, and sometimes loveys can be tiny. Then you can carry them with you. You can put them in your pocket. So those are um, probably good loveys to have. And then um, this is Cowboy Bunny, and this is what um, our cameraman had for a lovey. Only his was a big Cowboy Bunny, but one of the girls made this for him, so he would still have his lovey. So there are all kinds of loveys. And, um, and I'm glad I have mine, and I bet you're glad that you have yours. Let me show you some pictures of the kids with their loveys. Okay, this is Sam, and she's got girl puppy. That's girl puppy, this one right here. And there's Malcolm, he has, his is called puppy. And so puppy is his lovey. This is Cooper, Cooper's holding a uh, lovey tiger. You can see Lovey Tiger. He's hugging Lovey Tiger. There's Lovey Tiger again, and Lovey Tiger actually had a birthday party. And Cooper's blowing out the candles for Lovey Tiger's party. He's had Lovey Tiger since he was a tiny baby. And there's Malcolm again, holding Puppy. And there's Katie. Katie's Lovey was named Khakis, and Khakis was just basically a little kitty with two pieces of material and stuffing in between, and she held on to khakis for a long time. Okay, let me read you a poem about loveys, and then I'm gonna show you some pictures of snow, if we have time. Okay, this is called My Lovey. I have a little lovey, I take him everywhere. My lovey's even better than my favorite teddy bear. My lovey's always with me when I go to bed at night. And when my mama tucks us in, I hold him really tight. I take my lovey to the store. I take him out to play. And when I go to school, my lovey waits at home all day. As I grow up, I know I won't need lovey every day. My mom tells me that's so, and I know that's just the way. For now though, I'll keep lovey close and carry him with me. I don't think I could ever have as good a friend as he. So eventually you get old enough so that lovey may not go, you may go to school, lovey won't go to school with you, but lovey can still sit on your bed and lovey's waiting for you when you get home. So some people keep their loveys for a long time. Clearly I did. So we had some snow today, our first real snow in the area. Let me show you some pictures. Okay, there's, a, we had a goose walking around in the snow. And there's just some of the snow we had. We got about two inches, which was pretty good. We hadn't had much at all. There I am in the snow, you can see around my boots. We did have enough to, uh, to shovel and to play in. Okay. And there's another picture of it going down our street. There's a picture Katie took of a bluebird in the snow. It's really pretty. And when I started to see the sparkle in the snow, that reminded me of the fact that spiders make webs. And I had written a poem called um, Webs, Diamond Webs. And when 
webs get wet with either rain or dew, they can look like they have diamonds on them. And that's what made me think of it. So let me read you the poem called Diamond Webs. Some live in simple houses of wood. Some live in mansions quite fine. I'd like to live in a house if I could made of diamonds that glisten and shine. I don't want to be a big spider, but I envy their houses so bright. When the dew and the drizzle still on them makes their webs such a beautiful sight. So diamond webs, they can sparkle. And I cut this out just before we started uh, videoing tonight. There are patterns online to make spider webs. And I got a little bit of glitter, but just kind of to show you, my glitter's kind of acting up. You could put daubs of glitter. This happens to be gold. Like I said, this is old glitter, so I don't know. So if you just kind of put it in the corners, it's hard to see it sparkle. Whoop, okay, works better with a brush, but, <laughs> Okay, anyway, you could put a lot of glitter on your spider web. That didn't show up real well, but you could make it show up real well, and you could make your own diamond webs. So if you have your lovey, if you have a lovey, and not everybody does, but if you have a lovey, hold it tight and enjoy it. And remember that even when you get so um, so big, that lovey won't be going out with you all the time, won't be going to school or uh, to the store or wherever. Lovey still waits for you at home, and that's what's wonderful about Lovey's. So one, four, three, and I will see you soon.